Alright guys, there's some boxes I received from China and they're supposed to be my servo motors and the CNC controller for the CNC machine I'm trying to build and there's three big box packages so let's see what's inside there Alright More cables. Oh, see, actually has more wires in it because I ordered a servo motor with a brake. So there are brake cables as well. Oh wow. Which one is it? Oh. 4.5 amps. It doesn't see the power of it. I will see. I, I know I have one of 750 watts. I mean two 750 watts and then one one kilowatt motors and a servo drive. So yeah, this is box one. Okay. I have to change the camera angle a little bit so you can see better. Let's see. Nice packaging. And whoa. Man, this is awesome. This is my CNC controller. CNC 4640. It's got a USB port on it. If I can ever get to it. Yeah, there you go. Regular USB. Got bunch of functions. Nice large display. It's a panel mount, so I have to have an opening in the panel and just secure it with the screws. It's got power supply in the back. 24 volt DC. Ethernet, serial port, USB, spindle encoder, and it's a four axis controller. It's got, I don't know, gotta, gotta get a sit down and figure it all out. But this is incredible, and supposedly this one has a uh, ladder logic capabilities so it's going to be acting as a PLC when I get to my tool changer and all that goodie and all those goodies so yeah man I didn't expect it to be this hefty really Cables, customer part number, part number, ok, 
packaging. And rotary encoder. This is the pendant or hand wheel, whatever you might want to call it. It's like a manual control of the CNC. B stop. Selector switch between the axis X, Y, Z, and four or off, and then times one times ten times hundred, and a clicker wheel like this, and enable switch of course. All right. Uh -huh. Servo motor. Oh man, look at this thing. Um it doesn't state the power. Oh no, kilowatt, one point zero kilowatt. So this my this only uh, x axis which will be moving the entire D entry. A kilowatt of power in a servo motor. Man, I might need to build a bigger machine now. I didn't know it was gonna be this big. and then break and then the encoder and sure enough yeah 750 watt z-axis motor and it's already under break okay it's not spinning not turning but man it's the size of a freaking spindle Yeah, this is very useful in Chinese. I get so much information from it, sure. All right. Oh, this one's better. 750 watt with brake. Z axis. Man.
this is incredible I just I get so excited about it all right so all of them are powered by 230 volt AC one or three phase which I only have one in my garage 240 220 whatever that is Setup I get, I'm getting, and it's a 750 watt. So the first one in the small box must be a one kilowatt. All right, it looks identical. It's got some setup jumpers and wiring already, because seller promised to set it up for me first. Yeah, it's not really tightened up. But yeah, we'll take care of that. Ethernet, encoder, everything. All right. Yay. So, this is it. So much goodies. Now I have to start building the freaking machine well that's it for now i'm gonna set it up and make another video about it thanks for watching okay after opening everything up and laying on the table this is what we get uh total everything i found in those boxes so there are some cables db25 db25 and then i don't know some cables more cables here and x y and z axis cables x y and z axis servo motors and x y and z axis servo drives that is a cnc controller there is a power supply filter the line filter that's some db15 connectors some db25 terminal boards there is a serial cable usb cable pendant and the mounting bracket for the pendant and that's it that's everything in this package we'll see how it goes when i set it up